Hi, I'm Robert Oakes, author of the new book, Ghosts of the Berkshires. Once I decided to write a book about Berkshire ghosts, my first task was to find them. And of course, when looking for ghosts, a good place to start is a cemetery. In Berkshire County, like so much of New England, one of those is never hard to find, and each one has its own distinctive qualities. Many are what you might expect, tombstones and statues, mausoleums and manicured grass. But others are more unusual, like the Cedric Pie here in Stockbridge, where members of an old New England family are buried in concentric rings around their forebears. Many are modern, but some are as old as the earliest settlements. Here in Wood Cemetery in Monterey, for example, you can find the town's first minister, Reverend Adonijah Bidwell, lying beside his wives, Theodosia and Jemima. Other burial sites are older still, like this one on the west end of Main Street in Stockbridge, which was set aside by the indigenous people as a place for their ancestors to lie undisturbed. All of these grave sites are interesting, but none are believed to be haunted. To find one of those, I had to search the woods on October Mountain for what's known as the Lost Cemetery of West Branch Road, and for the ghost of the little girl said to haunt it. As you can imagine, a lost cemetery isn't easy to find. October Mountain is a 16,500-acre state forest in what was once known as the Lone Lands between Lee, Lennox, Beckett, and Washington. It was out in Washington where I turned off the main road and headed into the woods. And the deeper I went, the more I thought about the stories people tell, about the strange lights and unnatural creatures that many say they've seen up on the mountain. Once or twice I almost turned back, but I had to keep going. I had to find that lost cemetery. People say it's the ghost of Ada Pease who haunts this place. They say they've seen her or have heard her humming a tune. Her stone is here, lying beside those of her parents, Oliver and Catherine. But about her brief life, almost nothing is known. She was born May 14, 1818, and was buried here a little more than 10 years later on January 22, 1829. The people who established this site in the early 1800s were likely farmers and woodcutters residents of some of the earliest settlements up here on the mountain. At that time, this place probably would have been closer to the bustle of daily life, but few today come here to pay their respects. It's a peaceful place, quiet and calm, where the past seems very near. It's also a little sad. I wonder whether these spirits feel forgotten by the world. Do they want us to come and find them here and sit with them a while? And do they want to be remembered through the stories that we tell? Like the one about a ghostly girl, dressed in white, stepping lightly through the broken stones. <laughs> 